the day this is for me and you Shonda and Sage is what we're going to call this a vlog yep this is the day in the life of you are you excited yeah look at you you ready for your big video <laughs> give mama Paul yeah okay let's show them what you do okay let's go come on <laughs> Good boy, you wait. You wait for the cars. You ready? Okay, come on. <laughs> This is our F. <laughs> he is tired, look. <laughs> this is our ritual whenever we go outside. Let me see if I can prop y'all up. Hold on. Hold on. Mama forgot your wife. <laughs> y'all, it's so hot. He's beat. He's beat. Look at this. 
I'm not even going to tell you how long this takes or how many times I have to refill this throughout the day because thanks to Pet Libro, Sage's water bowl has been upgraded. I am all about convenience, quality, and products that just make my everyday life easier. But between me and you, I am very new to the pet specific smart products. It came well packaged with everything that you need and was super easy to set up. Summertime is finally here and in this Florida heat, a regular water bowl will not work for how much he needs to stay hydrated. So this is the ultimate game changer to quench your pet's thirst. It has a transparent 2.1 gallon water tank so you can visually see where your water levels are when it days without even having to worry about it. I'm gonna be honest, we don't drink tap water in this house. <laughs> So the fact that it has a five layer filtration system is amazing. This fountain combines filters made of non-woven fabric, a sponge, ion exchange resins, activated carbon, and silver ion ceramic balls to eliminate debris, odors, and bacteria. As simple as it sounds, you have to be very mindful because there are so many different toxins that can go into your pet's water. I love the splashless design of this. It has a 2.4 inch splash shield and a 2.5 inch buffer zone. Sage is a messy eater and drinker. I think most dogs are, but he's a teddy bear. So all of that water tends to drip down onto my floors. This has helped that so much. Now, although this is a plug up product, you can still stay worry free during any possible power shortages because the reserve power pump it has can continue dispensing water for up to 16 hours after power outages. So that thing will keep on filtering and keep your pets hydrated regardless. The Whirlpool design continuously flows effortlessly. Not only keeping the water nice and fresh, it efficiently flushes dog fur, crumbs, grit and grime into the filtration system, keeping the water clean. And honey, my favorite top tier feature of this is when the water runs out, you don't have to disassemble it. You don't have to take it apart. You don't even have to lift the lid. You just simply pour more water directly into the fountain. Yes, I am in love. <laughs> so if you are a pet lover, pet owner, or know someone with pets and want to add convenience and a clean way of keeping your pets hydrated this summer, definitely check out Pet Libro. I am going to leave all of their information in the description box below. Now let's get back to this video. Come here, baby. Come over here, booty. Come over here. You sit. Okay, so this is a perfect time to kind of um, give maybe like a doodle tip or a long hair dog tip. I am not a professional, obviously, but as you can see, it doesn't look as bad right now. Well, you can see it from the side. See, it's getting to the point. Uh -uh. <laughs> sit down, Sage. Get down. Sit. Sit down, booty. We got to show them this, okay? We gotta show them this because we want to help them with their doggies, okay? So you're going to be good for mama to show them. So look, he's starting to look a little homeless, especially from the sides. Um, I do get Sage groomed whenever I feel like he needs to be. I don't have a specific schedule. However, I also do make sure that I comb him, brush him. And I also started to do like my own little touch up when I start to not be able to see his eyes and stuff. So let me show y'all how I do that. So you can see, see it's more obvious when he's far away, like you can't see his eyes. <laughs> I don't think he blinds at all, but it's a difference, you'll see. Hold on. I don't have a clue how I'm gonna set this up, y'all. <laughs> Stay right there. We gotta show them, okay? Stay right there. Good boy. You listening good, boo You being a good boy. How I'm gonna do this? Come here, baby. Come close. Sit right here. Perfect. Oh, it's a perfect. Look, you can see the face. Can you show them your face and what we doing? Yeah, we're gonna make you cute. We're gonna make you cuter. You already cute, huh? Yeah. 
here are the tools i don't have all of them that are in this thing i got this from amazon like over a year ago this is just like a little beginners at home doggy grooming kit the only thing i actually even have from the kit i don't want him to get away stay right there baby stay right there is these pair of scissors this is like a set of four it comes with a comb a couple pair of scissors um here's one of the pairs of scissors they all look the same i got this when I, before I even got him, so this doesn't come with the set, but the comb that comes with it looks just like this, but it's brown like the scissors. And this is just to clean the, the set, but. Let me kind of show y'all what I do, okay? You wanna show them what we do? Look, can you put your face like that so they can see? Say, so excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, um, I try to do this as often as possible sometimes i'm better than others sometimes we gotta take a little bit longer because i took too long as you can see how his face gets more fluffy he does not like it so we don't do too much at one time but he does let me you see i just talk him through it right i say you being a good boy and you're letting mama do that you're so sweet for that huh yeah oh no Thank you, Bubba. She let Mama do that. <laughs> so, come here. Come here. Nope. Now, here's a tip. Be gentle. But when they want to act like they want to run and tug away because they know that they're cute, grab that chin. They're perfectly fine. Like, he's fine. Hold on, baby. You stay still. You're just going to do the face today. I know. I'm not combing them out completely, but I'm combing it out enough that I can get his face real fluffy and messy so I can trim it just a little bit. I know. I know. Let's get the neck. Let's get your neck. Let's see your neck. Yeah. Let's get your neck, boo -boo. We gotta get under that chin. Yeah. <laughs> He like this part actually, it feels like scratches to him. You like that because it feels like scratches. When I comb him, I try to do layer by layer, as you can see. I'm not just like pulling it down. I know, neck, come on. I'm doing it like section by section. And the more often you do this for your dog that has long hair, the better because the longer you wait, the more painful and time consuming it's going to be huh and you don't like it when you're sitting here and having to do this do you mommy gonna show them your afro you're doing so good it's good boy y'all he sees a lizard so this is probably one of the worst times to do this but we still gonna do it so i'd like to comb it towards his face it gives you a better look at just how messy and unkept it is huh okay so let <laughs> You still cute. I'm not saying that you're not cute, okay? Look at the camera and show them. You see? You fluffy boy. Again, I am not a professional, okay? This is not gonna look perfect, but you'll be able to see how the how his face goes from, you know, not being able to see his eyes, because this is pretty much what he looks like when he wakes up in the morning and walks around. Let me get it, come here. Get the crusties out of his eyes to just a little bit more clean. I like to use these around his eyes because they are curved. So it makes me feel better when I'm cutting them at that angle. If that makes sense. Let's see, Bubu, let's show them. Let's show them what we do. Yeah. You let mommy cut your eyes. You trust me, don't you? You sweet boy. <laughs> No, 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 you stay up. He likes to lay on me and get comfortable. <laughs> okay, okay, we can do that. You just want to relax and look at mama, huh? I still wanna keep you fluffy. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. To think I locked my hair because I didn't want to detangle anymore. I got a whole nappy headed child. I still love you. I'm not judging you. Okay. 
but it is very ironic if you think about it. Let me see if I missed something. And I do have a slicker brush for anybody that's asking. I prefer using a comb. Sage also does not shed ever, but when I am combing his hair and I'm cutting his hair, that does get on my legs because at the end of the day, it is hair. So here's the before. And cute boy. <laughs> that was just my little um look. If you're a regular person, I didn't want to keep your baby looking cute in between grooms. Look at those eyes. <laughs> One hour later. I was gonna take Sage to this park to get in nature, y'all, but it's literally almost 100 degrees. We just can't do that right now. So quick little snack break. I'm about to sit down and get some editing done, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him a snack while I do that. I figure if you're watching this video, you might be a pet parent. You might be looking up things for your puppy or your pet. So I wanna share some of Sage's favorite snacks and just things that I recommend as go-tos before I get into work mode. He clearly knows he's about to get something. <laughs> but these are his mains. If you don't get down, get down, boy. Get down, Sage. <laughs> I have these in my hand just to show y'all. He ate these, but he doesn't necessarily love these. I didn't buy these. I got them at the getaway house that we went to for my birthday. I don't know. He's iffy about these. I. I yeah but these are his main go-to's i really don't buy a whole bunch of different brands and varieties of snacks unless he starts to not like the ones that he already has this has been a staple since he's been a puppy he loves these when he was a puppy it took him longer to eat them baby he can chew one of these sweet potato chews very quickly and easily now but he loves them so is just a treat, not really a distraction. He also likes these Wag Chicken and Waffle Bites. This is probably one of the least healthy because I like to get him snacks and treats that have like more whole ingredients, but also I'm not like, sometimes I'll throw something in there to give him something that he really can indulge in and he really likes these. He really, really loves these little dog biscuits. He's a sweet potato fan in general. Anything with sweet potato, he hasn't really turned down. I get these two from Amazon. You can get this from Amazon, but you can find it at the best price from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They're not necessarily cheap, but they do last pretty good. It's not something you're just giving them all the time, but just a nice snack in the day. You know what I mean? I have a quick story. <laughs> I have a quick story about these, okay? <laughs> I don't know why I'm about to tell y'all this, but I just think it's hilarious because it, it, it was real and it happened, okay? I ate one of these. <laughs> and look, let me explain. When I got them, I was giving him the snacks and then I saw that it said human grade. And I don't think I've ever seen that on a snack before. And that wasn't just like, okay, let's eat them. You know, I didn't say that immediately, but I looked at the ingredients and recognized it all and was like, let me see. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't terrible. It was just like a blandish, like organic, crunchy biscuit, okay? I'm just, there, I said it. Let me show you what it looks like for context. <laughs> Can't believe I'm telling you how it is. Look at him. Okay, get it. These are also made by the same WAG company, and I always keep these on deck. I actually need to order some more. I get them off of Amazon as well. These are just raw hides. Some people do not feed their dogs raw hides. I don't give him these when I'm not around, but Sage is a mama's boy. He will sit in my face, stare at me for as long as he possibly can. So this is kind of like a get out of my face kind of thing, and he enjoys those. This normally comes in like, I think a bag of like, 20 yeah it comes in a 20 pack these aren't necessarily the cheapest but also not the most expensive but these are the treats that he absolutely enjoys loves and has not turned away from i thought i would share them because this is a doggy vlog and hopefully that is helpful to somebody if you want i can drop the links below but you might have to remind me now like i said i'm gonna give him something 
that he can snack on while I work. I'm going to give him this Kong with peanut butter. I keep these in the freezer. Um, it's just a Kong with peanut butter. Look what he does. Go in your crate. I make him get in the crate when he eats this because it's messy. I don't want it on my furniture. But when he sees this, he knows what time it is. <laughs> Look at him. No, he didn't just not nod his head at me. He loves peanut butter. Okay. I'll put it here. Okay. I do not put regular peanut butter in there just in case anybody gets confused. Okay. Get doggy peanut butter. This is the one that I got. Sometimes I do switch out the types of peanut butters that I use. I normally do the, it's actually like Kong filler peanut butter. It comes in a container like the cheese spread normally comes in. But this is a different kind of consistency and it really likes the way this tastes too. So this is the peanut butter that I have in it. Bangin bacon flavor. Also, I got that from Amazon. So yeah, we're gonna let him vibe out. I'm about to get some work done and we'll be back. And this is Sage. Most of the day. Oh, so good. Hi, boo boo. Hey, mommy boy. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> you better stay away from that. Go lay down, Sage. Give mama a break. Go lay down. Five hours later. Oh, I have to show you how much he loves being outside. Come here. <laughs> Drop the ball. Okay. <laughs> Go out. <laughs> Come here. Drop it. Okay. Go out. Ready? Phew. Woo! <laughs> Go! <laughs> I just need y'all to get a little dose of how happy he is when he's outside. Go out! 